Hey there, Slavis here, back with another episode of Dark Cloud 2. We are almost at the end of Mount Gondor's second path. So let's take a look at all the cool things that are going to happen on these next few floors. We're on our way to get the fire gem, and hopefully... Okay, fire spirit. Oh, you're tough. You're going to kill me too, but I'm so slow. You're not gonna kill me. You will not get the better of me. I've been trying to raise a couple of Monica's weapons in hopes that I can get her weapons to be stronger. But she is not as strong as, strong as Max right now. I'm also hoping to find Flaming Nail on this, on this floor, or at least here or the next floor. And then we can upgrade Monica's sword for the next, next form. And I did decide I am going to break down Monica's Daedalus Blade. Just because I've already got this sword being built up. But I am going to train some of her other weapons. So we'll just keep cruising through the floors until we find the flaming nail, and then we'll recap what she needs in order to build up her weapon. Triple Cracker. That's new. Hold on, triple, triple cracker. Let me break open this chest here. Hey. Hey, there's flaming nail. Let's get him. Let's let him get us. Yikes. The damage. Now let's build this up to the Amano Murakamo, which we already knew. We already had one of these. So now it can go into two separate paths. Chill, Cyclone, Smash, or Chill, Lightning, and Scale. Either way, it needs Chill. Chill, Lightning, and Smash, Chill, Cyclone, and Scale. So not Flame or Exorcism. Okay, the Churro would be good for that. And so would the Pococo. So let's, let's keep working on those. Crazy Mountain. What do we have here? More heat wear. Ooh, Arthur. That's new. Do we... Do we have something that needs that? I don't remember. Yes. Oh, the Guardian Sword need, needed it. Well, that's okay. I'm probably not going to use it. There we go. Another Spade of Challenge completed. Thankfully, there's not a whole lot of space I have to travel between the distortion, or between where I was and where the distortion was. Wealth coin, nice. 
did manage to also get the Amano Murakamo up to be able to be built up to the next two, which is Muramasa and Dark Cloud. I'm not sure which one I want to go for. Muramasa sounds pretty cool, but at the same time, Dark Cloud, I mean, it's the name of the game. And this just needs Beast. I don't know how much Beast, so I'm probably going to build up a couple other of these things. I might just break down the whole, put Beast in here, but I'm going to need some Hunter Crystals first. So, I'm going to move on to the next floor. Which is the Chamber of the Blazing Fire Gem. The final floor of this dungeon. Alright, Inferno. You look mean, but I bet you're pretty easy. Like the other three guardians. Ooh, you hit like a truck. Yeah. Not too much of a threat. Grab the picture of the final altar here. Awesome. And let's grab the last gem. Wow! And with that, we're gonna move back to Kazarov's, uh, Kazarov Stonehenge. So we didn't get any geostones for this area either. Here we are. I'm gonna save first. Just in case I mess something up. Let's head up there and deposit the gems. fire. Here's the water altar. Here's the wind altar. And last but not least, the earth altar. They've done it. So that was your... Of course. He has blood from two different times running in his veins. It's given him special qualities. A boy descended from two eras. He may just be able to save us. He could be the one. Now, let us strike back. Is. Are you trying to stand up to my power with such a puny little fortress? Have it your way. Let the battle begin! Pesner's attacks aren't doing anything. Prepare to fire the Nova Driver. Sir, Nova Driver ready to fire. What's that? 
What are they gonna do? Looks like they plan on using Pazno's strongest weapon, the Nova Driver Cannon. Nova Driver Cannon? Yes, I've never seen it fired before either. Can it damage that thing? I sure hope so. We'll have to wait and see. Ready to fire, sir. Nova Driver, ready. Aim. What should we do, sir? There is a town at the estimated crash point of the palace. Blast it all! How do we stop it? Initiate Colossus Mode! What? Colossus Mode? What are you talking about? It's a new system on Cosmos. You must be joking. Cosmos doesn't have anything like that. Yes, it does. You just don't know about it. Wha what But ever since Cosmos was in its planning stages, I... History has changed. Since Max and Monica went back in time, things have changed slightly. They've created a whole new time stream. A new time stream? So that explains it. Put Posmos in Colossus mode. Entering Colossus mode. Cool. What is it? I have no idea. It looks like, like, like Pasnos is transforming. Just threw the palace aside. The palace is on the ground. Let's try and get inside. Okay. All right. So, cool robot scene initiated. Let's see. Can I get a picture of Cosmos? I don't think I can. Just kidding, it's right there.
According to my research, an object under a chrono union may exist in two separate spaces at times at once. It means that Pasnos is here in this time, but that is also exists in the future, too. I admit this concept's a little confusing. Well, I guess we'd better get going. Yeah. Yeah, we'd better. Now we gotta get him. He's in there. Thankfully... Actually, surprisingly, his structure still stood. I think some of the wall would be damaged. Alright, so once again, the Moon Flower Palace. I'm gonna have to end this episode here. In the next episode, we will continue on into the palace. So thank you for watching, and I hope you join me in the next episode. See ya.